What is going on, everyone? Welcome to a three day PL recap. Today is August 30th. It is Wednesday, and I missed the last two days because I was away at the track. So today I'm going to combine Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday into one recap. It is an important week because tomorrow is the 31st of August. I have no idea how this summer is basically over. But then on Friday through Tuesday, we are able to request a payout with Apex. So let me know if you guys are getting any payouts this time around in the comments down below. And I know someone in my Discord is getting a 40k payout from Apex this time around. It's his first payout, has 20 funded accounts, got them all over $2,600 and is taking maximum payout from all of them. So huge congratulations to him. Big accomplishment and a huge inspiration for the rest of us to get keep going and get more accounts in the meantime. Hopefully a new sale will be coming for Labor Day as well. Hopefully it is a 90% off sale and maybe some rule changes would be good as well to kind of compete with Top Step and so on. But let's just dive into my recap of my PNL for my funded accounts. I have five accounts right now and I've made $324 on each account on Monday. So that was the Monday, made $1,620. I scaled down in size a little bit since I was trading remotely. So I was using my phone to execute the trades by logging into my home PC. So the executions were done on my home PC the same way I would trade at home, but I was controlling my PC remotely from another location with not the best of Wi-Fi's. So if the Wi-Fi would have cut out or my cell service would have cut out, I was safe and the executions have a profit and a stop loss, right? So as long as my Wi-Fi is working well at home, I had nothing to worry about and everything worked out great. And, um, and Monday was a little bit more hectic too. I was actually trading during a safety meeting. So when we go to a track, we have safety meetings. Typically that meeting happens earlier in the day and on monday we were running late so i was actually still in the meeting trading kind of just you know under the table but it worked out really really well and i am glad to have paid for my track days two track days the hotel the gas the food and everything associated with a two-day trip in just a couple of minutes of trading right from 9 25 to 9 35 is basically my window and i am done beautiful and moving on to racing then tuesday Tuesday was another beautiful day. Tuesday, I've made same profits. So made $324 in each day. $1620 again on all accounts. Nothing changed. The only thing that changed was that Tuesday was a lot less hectic. So Tuesday, this is the dream. Tuesday, I went onto the track at 9 a.m. So I was racing my car at the track, did a few laps, warm up the tires, you know, get the car ready for the, for the later sessions. The first session is always like a feeler session. Your tires are going to get crazy high. You have to check the tire pressure and all that stuff. So I wanted to get out there and I went out on the track at 9 a.m., got back into the garage at like 9.17 a.m. I got ready for trading, traded again from 9.25 to like 9.35-ish, 9.40 closed everything down, got back on the track at 10 a.m. And that's the beauty. And now this day paid for, let's say, my tires, right? So my tires were brand new for this two-day event. Tires do last me a se at least a full season, so it's not a big deal, but they are quite expensive. And I paid like $15.50 for the tires this time around. And that's exactly what I've made basically, right? So I paid for the tires. So the point is that trading for me is a supplemental income. But the more money I make with trading, the better enjoyment I could get at the track. Because it's not a cheap hobby, but maybe I could get a new car eventually. That's the big dream. But even in the meantime, I could go to more track days. I could get more, more things done and, and so on. So I'm just super, um, super happy with that, how that went. And again, using Splashtop remotely to log in to my desktop. But my strategy allows for that. If you are trading, you know, in, by intuition or whatnot, it's going to be very hard to do that because it's not as fast to you know move the mouse around on the uh, on the screen and so on. So again, it's just something that worked for me. It's not something I recommend you doing. But if you want to let's say monitor your positions and you have no way of logging into Rhythmic or Quant Tower, then you could do that by you know checking your uh, screen at home. So you could just log into your PC at home and see how your trades are doing. Let's say if you're holding a trade and you got to run out. But now let's talk about today. So today I was kind of hyped. 
I really wanted to go back to my normal size because I did scale down in size here, but it didn't work out. So today I only made $120 per account with an exception of 192 on one account. Now, if I was at the track, I would have had a, I would have to do the math, but 23 to $2,500 a day. But today was a choppy open. It was a lot of wiggling going on at the open, so I wasn't sure how it's going to go. I was close to getting stopped out as well, and then I got went back in profit, and it came back again, and so on. So I did take out some at break even, and then I made profit on just the one little portion of the size that I had. Therefore, I only made six hundred seventy-seven dollars total. Now, I'm very grateful for that because I could have lost, so I could have sucked, and then it would have been harder to get a payout on these accounts. But the second thing is, like, the trade did work out, and I should have just kept it. And if I was at the track, I would have made money because I would not have interfered with that trade. There's just no way to, to do it super quick, and I would have just let the trade play out, and it would have worked out beautifully. It would have helped because then I would have more cushion on the accounts. So the withdrawal window is starting on Friday. So it's very important for me to have a good day tomorrow and on Friday and maybe on Tuesday. So this account right here, the 1941 account, which now is at 2133, that account will qualify for a payout on the 5th. So the 5th will be the 10th day of that account versus the these two are already past 10 days, and this one's well past 10 days. This is a brand new account, day number two on it, and this account has not been, uh, it's not going to be qualified for a payout. But these are my overall balances for my accounts. And just so you guys know, I'm not making these numbers up. You can see them here. So you got 2134, 2870, 2994, and then $7,276 on the big account. So the 150k account is seven to let's make it seven thousand three hundred dollars that is quite amazing it gives me a lot of cushion i can only take out twenty seven hundred dollars from that account and that's what i'm going to do but now the overall profit on the month and on these accounts is sixteen thousand and forty dollars that is quite an amazing accomplishment because i started with just two accounts I've lost an account with a lot of profit in it. I had $3,200 worth of profit in one account. I lost that account. And I also had a couple of red days in, in, this, um, in this month. So that being said, if I have a great day tomorrow and I hit my profit targets, I will have basically my first 40K month trading. And how do I get to... 20k if i have sixteen thousand dollars profit then i make let's say two grand tomorrow that is because i include my affiliates with this so affiliates are based on my business right the trading business i am doing these videos to help you guys it helps me when you guys use my links it's not a lot of profit it's one day or two days worth of work trading over the whole month so it's very small portion but it does help to pay for these accounts and then it also adds up over time right it pays for your car insurance or or a few red bulls whatever it is it's still an income and i consider it to be all the same because it goes through deals so once it goes through my deal account then it goes to my bank account i consider this all one income therefore if i do make two thousand dollars tomorrow or so i'll be at twenty thousand dollars of profit for this month of august which is quite an amazing month and that's going to be my best gross uh netting month i've ever had because that's net profit if i include a gross this would be probably eighteen thousand by now and uh yeah and we'll probably have a 20k month gross but this is net and if i so let's say the affiliates there you go perfect example the affiliates will pay for the commissions on these accounts right that's that's gonna be my my thing moving forward the uh, affiliates pay for my commissions trading these futures accounts now i appreciate you guys using my affiliate links i know that when they have a big sale people use them quite a lot and it's also a little bit of a motivation or maybe inspiration for you to start your own channel it does take quite a long time to build it up so don't expect these kind of numbers right in the beginning but you might get 100 bucks or 200 bucks a month and if you grow a following or if you have success if you take payouts and stuff you make videos they will gain traction quite quickly with success so 
you know, if you want to go for it and start your own channel, it will definitely help a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, $16,000 on the month already and almost $4,000 on this week and it's only Wednesday. And th the dream was always to make $2,000 trading on, you know, with stocks when I started trading back in 2016. And the $2,000 goal was like once I actually become profitable. So it wasn't like right away, but over time, like the overall goal would be to make, you know, $2,000 a week. And look, now it's almost $4,000 a week here and it doesn't feel like it at all. And hopefully we'll have our best week yet. So we have a good day tomorrow and Friday. I could have my best week um, ever trading. So that's going to be interesting as well. I'm not including the evaluations. I did make some profits on the evaluations today with Top Step. I really want to get funded with Top Step again because I think the the five day payout window is just amazing for that uh, for this consistency. I could take some size. Obviously, that's going to take time because I have a scaling process in place, so I can't take too much size. But at the same time, once I do grow that account, it's going to be a quick payout. I also want to do a Tick Tick Direct account. Because with TikTok Direct account, I could pay myself every single week. So if I have a good week, I could just pay myself every single week. And then, you know, Apex would be every 10 days. So it's it's going to be a nice balance of multiple firms. And also, I don't want to go into a live account with Apex. So if, let's say I do have consistency for three, four months for the rest of the year. And I make, you know, $15,000 a month or $20,000 a month. And then they want me to go live into a live account. I don't know if I want to do that. So, so yeah, I don't know if they allow you to have a lot of accounts at once when you go live, live. But anyway, that's another topic for another day. Anyway, guys, enjoy your Wednesday. Let me know if you guys are getting any payouts this window and leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.